Now let's run through a lab on Azure Service Endpoints. To demonstrate this, I've created a pass offering from Azure, specifically storage accounts is created. And the storage account name is new RGS. I've also created a VNet here. And inside this VNet, I have a subnet called corp. The cider block of this corp subnet is 172.3040.0/24. In this lab with service endpoints, what we should demonstrate and understand is the usage of service endpoints. Now, what I will do is try to access this storage account using Azure Storage Explorer. And as we know that Azure Storage Explorer is another tool from Microsoft that will let us connect to Azure Storage Accounts. First, to connect to an Azure Storage Explorer, I'll go ahead and create access keys. I'll click on access keys right here and then use this key one. Just copy this key one for now, right like that, and then navigate to the storage account and then click on this icon that looks like a plug. Click on that, there you go, and then use a connection string. My connection string is something like that. Well, missing key. So there's something missing here, probably my clipboard is not right. So I'll go back to my storage account here, copying this connection string. Yeah, yeah, I should have used the connection string as the name itself says. Click next and copy that there you go it automatically picked up the storage account name let's click next and say connect okay now that we are connected to our storage account let's expand this and try to create a container inside the blob I will right click on the blob container create a new blob and say finance data okay and let it go looks like there's some message here what does it mean? Containers may contain lowercase, of course. So I have this F in uppercase, so I'll put that in lowercase. Good. So do I have a container? Yes. So, of course, you can go ahead and upload content here, but the purpose is to restrict the data access from a particular network, right? So at this point, I have access from the internet. There are no modifications that we have done as far as service endpoints are concerned. Now, let's go back to the storage account and do certain modifications in the service endpoints in the virtual network and also in the firewall section right here. First thing that I'm going to do is go to the networks here, click on the subnets, drill down further, and then if you scroll down further, you will see an option called service endpoints. The service endpoint that we're dealing with is a storage account. So out of these past services, I will select Azure Storage and then save it. So we are saying that Azure Storage account will be accessible from the following subnet. I will also do the change inside the Azure Storage account. For that, I will navigate to the storage account, click on firewalls and virtual networks, then select my specific network. The network which I'm interested in is vnet-corp. That's what we created. And the access must be restricted from a subnet called corp, right? So I'll go back here and then save it. Now, based on this configuration at the vnet and at the security group level. Now, based on this configuration at the vnet and also at the storage account level, we have restricted the communication between these two. So now the virtual machines that are hosted inside the subnet called corp will be able to access the data inside the storage account. Now what will happen to the Azure Storage Explorer? Now I have created the finance data container from the internet. So I connected the Azure Storage Explorer and then the storage account was connected. As you can see new RGS is right here. But then would I be able to do anything further? from here right now well ideally I should not be able to do because the communication is restricted between the VNet and the storage account but this storage Explorer is open from my laptop which is from the internet so let's try to create another container here and then name it as hello or something and say okay and there you go I got an error message that the request is not authorized to perform this operation and that is only because we have service endpoints established. 
I'll go back to the storage account and try to see if I can access or create new containers from here. Well, although I see finance data, will I be able to access it? Let's see. I'll click on it. Mostly I should get an error message. There you go. You do not have access because there have been changes to firewall and virtual networks. So as we saw that the communication between the virtual network and the storage account, which is a pass service, has been established here. And this is a security filter. You can also do similar operations for Azure SQL, Azure Warehouses, and other platform as service offerings.